we are going to see abstract class in java programming so a meaning of abstract class is nothing but a summary okay summary or as we are taking an example of a textbook so a summary of the contents of a book or an article we call it as an abstract so in a textbook whenever we are seeing the summary or any in index in that index there is no clear view of what exactly will be only a declaration is there that this point will be there but what exactly in that point is we have to go further to read the book right so only a declaration or a summary we call it as a abstract so similarly in java programming we have a concept called as abstraction so abstraction means what now abstraction is a process of hiding the implementation details and showing only functionalities to the user you might have learned this abstraction in op also so it is a process of hiding the details from the user we have to only declare what we are we are going to do but how we are going to do we are not going to declare in the abstract class so only what is there in the program that may be into the abstract class so hiding the implementation and showing only functionalities to the user we call it as a abstraction now we have abstract method as well as abstract class so what is this abstract method now abstract method is a method in which only declaration is there in a blaze class and we have to define it into a derived class so for example if i have taken one class i call that as a base class and there is my another class i call it as a derived class now in the base class only i will declare what i want but how i am going to do or what procedure i am going to do how, how i am implementing it that i am going to define it into a derived class so only declaration will be into the abstract class and the definition or what will be actually into that it will be into a derived class so abstract methods is a method in which only declaration is there in a base class and we have to define it into a derived class similarly abstract class or abstract method can never be final or static remember this is very important abstract methods can never be final or static and if you are using a abstract class then you have to declare it with a keyword called as abstract or if you are taking an abstract method you have to declare it with the keyword abstract so a base class in which abstract method is declared we call that class as abstract class so in the abstract class there could be an abstract methods as well as a regular methods so now let me give you one simple example now see suppose this is my uh, one mobile app okay i have opened this mobile app and in that mobile app i want the user to only display i just want to display get salary and put salary function now this is one of my mobile app and when i open the app i am getting get salary and put salary now by seeing this get salary and put salary can i have any idea about what will be in this get salary and what will be into the put salary yes anyone have any idea what is this get salary and what is this put salary yes students i have opened suppose this is my mobile app and i open this app there are two functions i now i am able to see that is get salary and put salary so can 
anyone have any idea what is this get salary and what is this put salary we we don't know what is this get salary and what is this put salary we just have a names that is this is something get salary and this is something put salary but what exactly the functionalities or the, what is the implementation of get salary and what is the implementation of put salary we don't know what is that you are just going from the names that get salary could be something used to retrieve a data and put salary is something used to uh, display a function but now suppose i am giving the names different names Now suppose I have a function called as and another function called as M N O P. Okay. Now again I have a two functions A B C D and the next one is M N O P. So now we don't know what is this a b c d and m n o p only declaration we know that there are some two uh, methods that is a b c d and another is m n o p but what exactly the implementation will be into that a b c d and the m n o p function we don't know right so this concept we call it as a abstract so if you don't know what exactly will be into the function what implementation will be what will be the functionality of that function if we don't know then that methods we call it as a abstract methods now this a b c d and m n o p are the two abstract methods and their implementation we have to define it into a new class called as derived class so this will be my base class this will be my base class where only abstract methods are declared and what will be the actual implementation it will be into the derived class so this is the simple concept of abstraction now again another example let me take the another example suppose i want to send an sms okay i want to send a message so if i want to send an sms through my mobile what i will do i will write the message to and from whatever will be i will send that message but how the message is going to the user the inside of the message can we able to see that what is the inside of the sending procedure how the message is going from one mobile to another mobile do we know that procedure or do the user gets that procedure how the message is growing going from one mobile to another mobile no right what what we see is only the message which we are writing and the insights of that message how the message is passing actually from one mobile to another mobile that is hidden so hiding the implementation hiding the implementation or a procedure and only showing the declaration that concept we call it as an abstraction so how the message is passing from one mobile to another mobile is hidden right so the procedure is hidden implementation is hidden the only visible thing for us or the end users will be the message that means only the functionality is visible and implementation details are hidden so if this is the case we call that concept as an abstraction okay so the definition of the abstraction is it is a process of hiding the implementation details and showing only functionalities of the user we call it as an abstraction so in the abstraction we will say there will be an abstract methods as well as abstract class so see now this is one example of abstraction one class is taken called as animal 
and in that there is one function called as void sound now i don't know what is what is this void sound function what it exactly doing i don't know that void sound function what it is doing i just know that there is one function called as void sound now for animals every animal have different sound like cat have meow sound dog will be having something different sound okay so we don't know what will be the sound of every animal so what we just declared there is only a one functionality that is sound now that functionality i want to make it abstract so i have appended a keyword called as abstract so this void sound method will be now abstract void sound it this method i call it as abstract method similarly this method abstract method we have to define uh, declare it into a abstract class only so now the class animal will be abstract class okay so in this abstract class animal the method is declared but how will it will be implemented what will be the actual sound inside this void sound function we don't know and that we have to going to define it into the derived class so only remember in the abstraction in the abstract class only there will be a declaration and definition will be into the another class now the next class i have taken that is public class dog extends animal i have extends this abstraction and this void sound method i have taken into the derived class and then i have given a sound this woof sound and then i have created a return one mean statement created an object of this derived class and i have given a call to that sound method so this sound method will now give the output as woof okay so this is the concept of abstraction okay so this is one example of abstraction now abstract class may contain regular methods also as well as abstract methods also now you might see that there is one class abstract class round shape in this abstract class there is one regular data declaration and there is one regular function also that is void display inside that void display this we have printed and there is one abstract method or uh, abstract method also that is abstract void find area this is the abstract method abstract void find area now what is will be in, into this find area that will be mentioned into the another class and that class will be the derived class so as there is one abstract method the class will be treated as abstract class okay so in the abstract class there could be an abstract method as well as regular methods and regular method we also call it as concrete methods this is the regular method void display okay this is not an abstract method void display is not an abstract method we have defined this method also means in that void display there is something that we have we have shown it so the methods which does not have any definition or implementation there is only declaration that methods we call it as an abstract methods and just remember in this abstract class there could be a regular data variables there could be a regular data functions that is member function regular methods and abstract methods as well the only thing is in this abstract class there could not be a final data variable and static data variable so let's take one example of abstraction so now i want to create a abstract class employee and then from that abstract class i want to derive two classes manager and worker from it so using the proper methods to accept and display the details we have to take it now see i will write the problem statement here create an abstract 
क्लास एम्प्लॉय देन वी हैव टू डिराइव टू क्लासेस मैनेजर एंड वर्कर then we have to use two methods with accept and display then the fields of manager class will be manager name and manager id i will call m id and m name and for a worker class i have worker id worker name okay so let's solve this program with the help of concept abstraction so now first step is as i want to take the inputs from the user so i want to use a scanner class so i will write import java dot util dot star then the first see the first statement create an abstract class employee so we want to create an abstract class called as employee so how to create a cl abstract class employee with a keyword abstract class employee so i have taken one class abstract class employee now in the abstract class we have to use two methods that is accept and display see this use two methods accept and display the second line indicates derive two classes manager and worker from it so let's first go with the statement derive two classes manager and worker from it so how to derive the two classes that is class manager extends employee okay similarly class worker extends employee okay so we have went till this we have derived a class manager and worker from abstract class now use two methods accept and display so two methods we want that is accept and display so that two methods i want to first declare it into a class employee and then i want to derive that so as there is a abstract class so methods will be also an abstract methods so how to define an abstract methods abstract void accept and abstract void display okay so two methods i have declared in this two methods we call it as abstract methods now what is this void accept and void display that we have to mention it into a class manager and class worker so in the manager class now i want or here this is abstract methods but again i want to take a regular or let's say concrete methods concrete method is nothing but regular method so i am regular method i am taking void put and in that regular method i am just displaying okay 
so this is the regular method it is not an abstract method it is the regular method regular method is also called as concrete methods okay so in this abstract class there could be a regular methods or a abstract method now this abstract methods void accept and void display i want to define it into a class manager and class worker so in the class manager i have want to take the variables that is m id and string m name okay this two i have taken then i am defining the void accept method and inside that void accept method i i will be taking the inputs from the user in this void accept that is first let me give display a statement to the user that enter the details enter manager details and here i am taking m id is equal to sc dot next int similarly m name is equal to sc dot next okay so two i have taken in this uh, void except similarly in the void display i just want to print whatever i have taken so in the void display i will write stream dot out dot print ln manager id is equal to plus m id manager name is equal to plus m name okay see i have, what i did is in the derived class manager i have defined these two methods which is de declared as abstract void accept and void display okay similarly in the worker class i want the worker id and name so same i am taking into the worker class the only thing is first we have to declare worker id which will be into integer and string worker name w name okay so see this is the worker class which is extending employee so i have, i can take the same methods that is void accept and void display so here instead of manager id i am just declaring the worker id and worker name okay so this this uh, two class i have created class manager extends employee and class worker extends employee now i want to take the another class that will be my main class let's call that class as abc in that i'm defining the main statement that is public static void main string args now i want to create an object of manager class that is manager m is equal to new manager similarly i want to create an object of worker class that is worker m uh, w is equal to new worker and now i will give to give a call to the methods defined into the worker class as well as manager class so in the manager class we have a methods called as accept and display so with the help of manager class object that is m i am displaying m dot accept and m dot display i am giving a call to the function similarly for a worker i am writing 
w dot accept and w dot display and now i will close the class so see what we have did is first i have taken an abstract class okay in that abstract class i have defined abstract methods there are two abstract methods void accept and void display after that i have taken a void put that is my regular method then i have taken a class manager which is extending employee in that i have given a definition of this void accept and void display in the void accept mode whatever will be the functions i have defined here similarly i have taken a class worker that is also extending an employee so i am taken a same method that is accept and display the function implementation will be the different thing so here in this void accept we are taking the workers details and in the void display we are displaying the worker detail now in the main class i have created two objects and given call to their respective methods so see that this is the concept of abstraction where the implementation is hidden in the abstract class only we had declared right this void accept and void display only we had declared it but whatever what will be into this accept and display we are defined it into a derived class so this concept we call it as a abstraction i will save this code as abc.java let me run this code in command prompt so i'd open a command prompt in that first you have to set the path i have already told you how to set the path go into local disk c then program files then java then jdk then bin copy the url paste it here now as my program is saved to a desktop to, so i am going to a desktop so cd stands for change directory so i had changed the directory now i will run the code java c abc dot java okay so somewhere uh, curly brackets are missing wait we will check yes we need to create an object of scanner class right so scanner class object you can create into the abstract class also or you can create into the manager class as well so i'm creating the uh, scanner class object into the abstract class that is scanner sc is equal to new scanner system dot in in the abstract class i have de declared this scanner class object now i will run the code okay there are no any errors so i will run the code java abc now see it is saying enter manager detail so first i am inputting the id and then i am inputting the name so 
it is displaying manager id and manager name now i am inputting the details of worker now it is displaying the details of worker so this is the simple example of abstraction okay abstract class we have declared here and then i have created a derived class in that the uh, whatever the abstract methods we have declared that i have defined into the derived class and then object created and i have given a call to that methods so this is the simple concept of abstraction so just remember in this abstract abstract class there could be a uh, abstract methods as well as regular methods or the concrete methods regular methods is nothing but concrete methods in this abstract class there could not be a final or static methods okay so this is the simple concept of abstraction hiding the implementation details and only showing the functionalities that we call it as abstraction i hope you have understood this